Watch out. Wait. This one's not a monster. Are you crazy? He just climbed out of a grave. I'm telling you, he smells of life. Who are you? Sentinels! No, they're everywhere. Sentinels? Who are these sentinels? Huge, monstrous things. Hideous things that will devour you whole. Come on, Svetlana. He's crazy. <laughs> I'm crazy. You come here of your own free will. You're crazy. You will never escape. You obviously escaped. Yes, but I'm not crazy. I'm a genius. I hid in the coffin with my friend's corpse, so when they buried him out here, I could escape. Ah, they found me! What was that all about? I'm not sure. He was totally mad. But one thing I am sure of. There are vampires here. I can smell them. Did you see the bite marks on his neck? Yes. I can feel air coming from this crypt. It smells like fresh air. It might open into the town somewhere. I can't go on. We're nearing holy ground. We just tromped through an entire graveyard. Why stop now? That little graveyard was never consecrated. It's not holy. But the ground here burns my skin. To go any further would be suicide. Fine. I'll go on alone. I'll find another way in. Uh-huh. Go ahead and enter the village through the crypt. Try to open the front gate. In the meantime, I look for another way in.
excellent work. What in the world is this thing? I've never seen anything like it. Whoever summoned this beast must be very powerful. There might be others like it. Did you find any villagers? Not one. They're either dead or hiding. With monsters like this roaming the streets, I can't blame them.
Are you friend or foe? We are not your enemy. Well then, greetings. Uh, welcome to the fair village of Falkenberg, strangers. I am the village mayor. Uh, what might I call you? I am Svetlana Lupescu. Stranger is fine. Very well. I have no idea how you found our little village. It matters not, I suppose. You should return now the way you came. You are both in terrible danger. What? You mean these creatures? We can handle ourselves. But don't you see? It is only a matter of time before an army of those things is sent to replace those you have slain. Please leave. It will benefit no one for two more people to suffer as our town suffers. We didn't come this far to be dissuaded by one man's opinion. Tell us what you know and keep it brief. You can worry about our safety later. A great evil has befallen us. You've seen some signs of that evil here. The oppression from Castle Gaustadt has become more and more severe since we, our people, settled in this valley after the bloody reign of Andronicus Comminus. Andronicus? Andronicus ruled in the 12th century. Impressive. You know our history well. Our people have been here a long time, and each year our village falls deeper into ruin. I feel we've only a few years left. And because of your actions today, we might have even less time. Count Voiku's wrath will descend upon this innocent town when he learns his sentinels have been slain. Count Voiku? He is the master of Castle Gaustadt, beyond the forest on the mountain that overlooks this valley. Tell us about this count. He is not a normal man, is he? What do you mean? He's a vampire, is he not? Well, yes. That is rumored to be so. Why would you suspect such a thing? I can smell it. And there were bite marks on a man outside this village. Man? What man? He didn't tell us his name. He was babbling, warning us about the sentinels. Did he say anything else? That's all. How did he escape? The sentinels don't let us wander from town. Apparently, he hid in a coffin with a corpse and was buried outside of town. How clever! Well, at least one person has escaped the Count's iron grip. If that madman truly is a vampire, think of the horrors he must be inflicting upon our children. Your children? Over the past year, the Count has taken all of our daughters. For what vile purpose, we can only guess. We tried to fight back. But his sentinels are too many and too strong. Now that the sentinels are gone, we recommend that you flee the city. Never. This is our home. We may die defending it, but we will not run like cowards. We are a proud people. And if we leave, our daughters will surely die. I will not ask you to involve yourselves in this horror. But it's obvious that you are capable warriors. If you offer your help, we will accept it. But we will not leave this town. We'll discuss the matter with this Count Voiku. If we can't reason with him... We will kill him. A humble village appreciates your help. I pray, for the sake of our town and our children, that you are successful. <laughs> 